Yeah, so I think the last feature to talk about on the canvas for now um, is the image to image part. So uh, I think I save that because I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so image to image. Uh, I think I already, I already spoke about it. You can pick any of the fine tunes on canvas now. But so with image to image, that basically takes what's underneath the context box and turns it into, you know, something something different based on your text prompt and based on your chosen model and also the input strength that you've selected. So it's a little bit like sketched image, except for the fact that sketched image really only re, sketched image really only acts on what you've sketched onto the image. It masks that area and changes only that. Image to image changes everything inside the context box. So it doesn't look at any masks or anything. So I think I draw, uh, um, yeah, I drew a very poor uh, tomato, um, <laughs> which will eventually be friend. finished. Sorry, <laughs> thought, thought it was a frisbee. A frisbee. Yeah, yeah, this is this is my my. Yeah, there we go. Rounded it out. We're going to get a little right. little green leaf on the top, um, and yeah, I don't know why I'm, I'm I was I was doing this so slowly, um, but eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, probably yeah, running on the phone and calling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, you're like, hey, the stream's about to start. Where's the video, man? <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. <laughs> so here we go. A stunning image of a tomato. Uh, cool. And at some point, oh, we go. I'm changing the render density so we get a nicer image. Um, so you like to use a stunning image quite a lot. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just like a thing that works for you. you no, know, yeah. Um, look, with Prom Magic V3, you actually don't need to use it anymore. Um, but I, I always found that using like a masterpiece image, a stunning image, or you know, uh, I don't know that kind of thing, tended to to get better outputs from SD 1.5 based models. So it's it's just a thing that I, you know, because I think if you just write an image of a tomato, it probably give you something a bit more photo real, and I wanted a little bit more stylized. So, you know, here's my, you know, poor excuse for a tomato. Um, but again, the idea is that anything inside the context box gets, con gets con you know, gets transformed when you use image to image. Mm -hmm. And I think we run, you know, one or two more examples up here. But basically, I think that's, that's the canvas run through. Uh, there are, you know, um, there's obviously a lot, a lot of complexity to, to some of the features, a lot of depth to some of the features. And I think what we'll do is, is release more content covering them again in more detail so people can, um, you know, uh, get more insight into the different ways that they can be used. But hopefully this sort of run through has been helpful for, for everyone to, to understand some of the ways in which, um, in which the new features can be helpful.